Good morning, class, and yep. good afternoon, too, I guess. Absolutely. So you got Mr. Wagner here. You got Mr. Mr. Dawson. Dawson. Yeah. So we're happy to see you guys today. We're going to do a quick review of uh, materials you need to study for, in preparation for your quiz Friday. So I'm going to give it to Mr. Wagner. And we, we're going we're gonna to put this in classroom, and this is the, uh, the quiz study guide. Now, Mr. Dawson, we made this so they can just pretty much look at it. You don't have to make a, a copy of it and, and put the answers in. This is just what to expect for the quiz. So, for example, I'll do a couple with the matching. Pittsburgh, what, what, would, that, what would match up with Pittsburgh? The industry would be steel. Then we've got non-contiguous. That just simply means you're not connected. The states aren't connected. Um, areas of high population, urban. So this is just for you to, to look over. We've got the compass rose that finds direction, helps you with direction. And then going towards the bottom, you can see it's color coded. So you have the seven regions. And again, notice non-contiguous, Alaska and Hawaii, they're not connected. And we're gonna kind of go over some of the states that you need to know inside. So anything that we're mentioning, you're gonna see on Friday. You wanna move it up just a little bit, Mr. Dawson? Yeah. Get to the bottom. And these are some of the questions you might see. What are the two non-contiguous states? And you should know that's Alaska and Hawaii. We're not gonna do all of them for you, but Pennsylvania is located in what region? And you guys should know that's Northeast. And you can be looking at the map, the notes we've given you this week as a resource. Yeah. You wanna to go to the- Let's go to the blank map. Yeah, let's go to the map. With you again. So some things you need to be looking for when you look at, um, you know, when you're, you're preparing for the quiz, and again, anything we're mentioning, you're gonna see again, all of this area, right down through here, is the Pacific region. And the Pacific region, one of the states we really want you to remember in that Pacific region is California. So I'm just gonna put Pacific and California. Another major region that you need to know, and I'm just gonna kinda of go over like this, is the Rocky Mountain region, okay? And I'm just gonna put uh, Rocky, and then I'm just gonna write MTN for mountains. Okay, so for the Rocky Mountain region, just know it's in that mountainous section of the United States out west. Grab a different color here, and going down the bottom, you have the southwest region. And I want you to remember Texas, okay, is in that southwest region. So we're going with some of the big states, the big states with not only size, but population. Then I'm gonna move over, and I'm gonna kinda Put this right under Pennsylvania. That's a kind of a big border state with these regions. So this region, opposite of Southwest, is Southeast. And I'm gonna put in over here, Southwest. A state that we want you to remember for Southeast is that peninsula state. You know, it's kind of jutting out, the water on sides, is Florida. So just remember that. We had some questions on the, uh, on the homework or the independent learning about the border for the, uh, the south and the north, but just remember it's Pennsylvania for the Virginia standards. So Maryland, Delaware, that's all considered southeast region. Also, Virginia. Remember Virginia is another state we want you to kind of remember is in that southeast region. We mentioned that Pennsylvania is a border so we're gonna go ahead and just use the center here. Remember the center is the Midwest region. So how many regions do we have so far? We have what, five regions put in so far? And this is the sixth region, is the Northeast region. If you remember your compass rows, north always at the top, south on the bottom, you can see that direction is going in the Northeast. The Northeast, we want to remember a couple of things, and I'm gonna use a different color here. Mr. Dawson, what was that uh, industry that talks about fabric? That's supposed to be a sweater or a sports coat? Yeah, that's the textile industry. So remember, textiles belong in the Northeast region. And then we've got a city that we learned that's in the North 
East region that was big with steel. What city is that? Pittsburgh. So remember Pittsburgh. And we got the H on the end. Pittsburgh is in Pennsylvania, the state, and it's in the Northeast region. What are a couple other cities that we went over, Mr. Dawson? Let's see, in, in the Midwest, we have- You wanna um, do a race and uh, we'll go from there, you wanna leave that up? Let's um, just keep it up, because okay. I'm, I'm just gonna take uh, take the Midwest out. Okay, But uh, Chicago. You know, yeah, let's look at Chicago, and I'm using an orange marker. That's not showing up so well, so I'll go back to the red here. Um, Chicago, remember that that, is in the Midwest region, and that Chicago is famous for, I'm gonna draw another one of those faces of a, a longhorn cattle. So that's meat packing. Remember Pittsburgh is steel. And we're missing, I think, one city that's also in the Midwest region. And that's gonna be over here in, in Michigan. What city is that? That's Detroit. So Detroit. And Detroit's famous for the automobiles. So we've gone over the regions. I'm gonna just uh, put in West here one more time. We put in the regions. There's one word that we forgot, Mr. Dawson, that uh, talks about cities. That means another word for areas of high population. Yeah, remember cities, we wanna know the term urban. So when you see urban, that means a city large population and, and, in, and in my down. haste we've got two I'm just going to erase yeah let's erase that erase this <laughs> yeah. and we'll just we'll just quickly do this one more time we have one region left we gave you six regions on the continental United States but there's two regions down here on the bottom the states aren't connected that's that non-contiguous um, term that big word so uh, Alaska and Hawaii are non-contiguous. That means that they're not connected to the rest of the United States. You want to just uh, bring that down real quick, Mr. Dawson? Yeah, that's far as that's far to go. Okay, that's that's perfect. Yeah. Just remember, any states get the easy regions first. Any states that are touching the Pacific Ocean, that's the Pacific. Remember down here with Texas. Southwest, over here with Florida, the Southeast, Virginia's in the Southeast. Let me show them on classroom real quick, Mr. Yeah. Wagner, if you can just stay up there. Let me uh, move in there real quick. And tomorrow we'll ask some questions using the, going over the states, just to get familiar with that. So our, our Google Classroom should look almost identical. Um, let's go to classwork and under U.S. cities and region is everything we've done this week so far and on Thursday we'll be going over this in class as well for the for all the students so let's see a couple of important ones to look at let's see So this was your map activity where you worked with the three cities. Yeah. So we showed you how to do that in class. We yep. made an instructional video this post. And they were just linking the uh, the industry with that. Yep. So parents, if you're studying along, the three cities they need to know are Pittsburgh, Detroit, and Chicago. And the industry, yep. so steel, automobiles, and meat packing. Yep, that's right. You want to go to the uh, the one with the uh, the region notes? That was for eight twenty five. U.S. cities notes. Oh, this was your drawing you did in class. Let's show them that. Okay. You guys, it's, it's inverted here, but you should have this in your notebook. Go back and study this. Yeah. We'll have Pittsburgh. Chicago. And that was on the exit ticket. Yeah. That we asked you to do. And then class notes. That should have, uh, that's the one with all the states written in. The one where I wrote Southwest twice, but then corrected it. Um, I think if you go up a little bit, down a little bit. 
not this, but this one's talking again about your cities yeah. that you need to know. Pittsburgh, and just Chicago, the, uh, the definition. So we've yeah. got this down several places. Yeah. So you know, you're going to be able to consult that. Uh, let's see here. Class notes. Yeah. Here we go. This is the region's notes. So you've got the states here, and we're going to ask you in class, and we'll do a couple right now, Mr. Dawson. Like, for example, if we ask someone in class, um, Texas is in what region? You're going to clearly see it's down here in the, in the uh, southwest region. You might say uh, Chicago. Chicago is in Illinois. So what region would that be in? And that'd be in the, the Midwest region. And remember the Pacific region, it touches the Pacific Ocean non-contiguous because they're not touching. What's the uh, industry, and we didn't link it with a city because it's really all through this region, but um, what's that industry again? It's the textile industry. Yeah. Historically, there was a lot of fabric production in that part of the country. So garments, clothing, blankets, anything to do with fabric, that's the textile, and that's all in the Northeast. And then the state that has, um, we have a couple questions about Pennsylvania. What city? is in Pennsylvania that we study with the seal. Be Pittsburgh. And then Pittsburgh and Pennsylvania is in that Northeast region. Yeah. So that's real important. Um, Detroit, the other city with the automobiles, and of course Chicago and Illinois, they're in the Midwest. Um, urban, let's just hit that one more time. Yeah. Cities that have, or places with high population is a urban area. Yeah. And don't forget your non-contiguous states Again, Alaska, Hawaii, non-contiguous just means they're not attached to these to the lower 48 to the continental United States. So, if you watch this video and understand everything we talked about, uh, let me go ahead and come back. And We're going to be off and running. We're going to be in good shape. We want to make sure this first quiz, you know. We've gone over this quite a bit in class. We're going to we're going to go over it again tomorrow. We've got the resources. And you should be able to, you know, be all set for the quiz on Friday. Yep. So parents, we'll put this up where you can see it as well. We'll send it out to you via email. And uh, we want to make sure everyone's successful. Thank you for all your Thank hard you. work this week. Take care.